Welcome to Good Morning. This is a bit of an interesting game. I don't know too much of the um, storyline of what's going to happen, but basically this story adapts to the choices that the players make and portions of the game are randomly selected. So what I get in one playthrough, you might get something completely different, which is pretty interesting. Also, if I sound sick, that's because I am sick. Fortunately, <laughs> caught a cold, so yay. Anyway, uh, aren't you going to answer it? No. Why not? I don't know who it is. Yeah, I don't know who's calling. That's weird. Just leave it. Now I really want to know who it is. You're hiding something. What makes you think I'm hiding something? You're awfully, uh, awfully mysterious about this. Don't be absurd. It's just... I like to keep some things to myself. I'm not going to share everything with you. You don't either. That's rubbish. I told you everything. Because sharing is caring. Sometimes that isn't true. <laughs> don't you trust me? It's not about that. What then? Everyone has a right to privacy. Yes. That's a big problem for me. I understand. Say this with all the love and respect. I know that. I'm not forcing you to do anything. The way you brought up makes me feel like you don't trust me. It's not that. There's a lot of stuff I've left behind. But I don't understand. Could we just leave this alone? I really don't want to dive into this right now. Fine. We need to do something about this. You aren't going to talk. What do you mean? Oh, look. Yes. Great. I know how hard you've been preparing. Okay. Yep, that's the start of this game. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, new game, I guess. Dear friends and relatives, today we have gathered here to remember a person who I knew well. It was a dear friend. In some regard, or in some regard, he will be missed. Yeah, we had good times. We were inseparable. Sometimes quite literally. Did everything together. Can't believe how much I miss you. I always remember. Yet when I first met him. When, when we met for the first time. I wasn't sure if I liked him at all. We were so much alike. If I'm honest... Seemed like a better version of myself. Very difficult to imagine a world without him. But that's the way things are. This is something that I just have to accept. It won't be easy. I can be unfair. But we just had to learn to live with these curveballs. What more can I say? I wish I had seen him more often. But there's nothing I can do now. Life has a funny way how it comes between everything. It's easy to lose yourself in the middle of it. Getting carried away. 
as you can probably see, or a speech writer, but this stuff comes straight from the heart. Wish I could do him more just than, than just mumble a word or two. Really deserves better. This is so difficult. I always said I'd have to learn to speak. Here I am delivering his memorial speech. If he was still alive. Oh, the irony. Got the last lap beyond the grave. Can't say I'm surprised. To wrap things up, told that the funeral service is held at his childhood home. You're welcome to join. Okay, and here we are. Um, ooh, there's something here. We're such a good friend. Man. Don't let the colour fool you. Go into so much trouble back in the day that you wouldn't believe. Those were good times. Should have been in co contact more often. Too late for that now. But it is what it is. Remember this one time. Ooh, uh, something's happening. Wow. Tell me about it. How far are we? Just a little further. You should be there in a minute. Been driving for ages. I know, but you have a decent bike at least. I have to use this. My grandma's bike. Probably older than she is by the looks of it. Huh. We've been there already. Come on. I've done this a million times this millions of times but never in the dark don't worry I hope it's easy to get lost you should know why do you say that when have you taken the lead it's easy to whine you're right I'm sorry make nothing of it so you are away with most of the summer here. Yeah. Uh, where were you? Where did you spend your vacation? In the countryside. That's not really something to write at home about. I know, I didn't hear a peep from you for the whole summer. Well, I'm sorry. Fine. It's just been going on and on about my summer, and it would be nice to know. Really need to learn to speak. What do you mean? Oh, come on, you know exactly what I mean. You're this clueless. I don't share. I'd like to hang out with you, but I do share. I tell you everything. Everything. Well. And tell me about your summer. There's nothing to tell. I was bored out of my mind. Read some books. That's about it. Basic stuff. Wow. Don't be an asshole. Sheesh. Not an asshole. I stop nosing around my business. I feel like I'm interrogated. I don't like it. I'm sorry. You know what? Go on this stupid camping trip just by yourself. I'm going home. No. Please come back. God damn it. And that's how we became friends. <laughs> that's definitely an interesting way to become friends. <laughs> Those were good times. Well. Nice talking to you. Come talk with me. You go out there a little bit later. Can't believe he's gone. 
My little baby boy. Now he's in that... That jar. Remember when he was little? He his favorite place in the whole world. Yeah, I guess we get another flashback. Here you are. Never ever wander off like this. Looked for you everywhere. Look, Mum. I can almost pet the duck. He's so, he's so close. Why did you run off? Your and Dad were shouting. Felt bad. So I came outside. I'm sorry. You weren't supposed to hear that. But you weren't supposed to go outside either. I've never been this scared in my entire life. I'm sorry, Mum. Yeah, I was just worried. That's all. Something happened to you. I don't even want to think about it. Mummy? Yes? Are the ducks shouting at each other? What makes you say that? There's just one of them here. You say there's two. wonder if the other duck is worried where her friend is. My sweet baby. Why did this have to happen to me? Hmm. It is depressing. Okay, it's very glowing and radiant in there. Oh, that must be the uh, where the guy is. I hope he's not radioactive. Oh god, ow, my eyes. You're one tall dude. <laughs> I'm afraid you can't leave. I might suggest you go and talk to people. Thanks, tall man. I thought I already talked to people. Oh, okay, I can go up here. Oh, okay, I'm at the door there. Okay, hold on, there's somebody right here. That dude over there. Looks like he's about to... <laughs> about to hump that tractor. <laughs> Makes me sad. Life hasn't treated him well. Poor bastard. Oh, okay, that's it, I guess. Okay, well, let's have a look around. <laughs> um, that's, that's a position, all right. Pure shit has been running years. Bring back all the memories. Why did this have to happen? You didn't deserve this. Are we getting another memory? We're in the sky, apparently. I guess this is sort of a nice view. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Phew. I think we're done for the day. Thank God. You say that again. It's been a long day. How long have we been, we've been here? Yeah, long enough. I'm not that tired. You're still young. You just wait when you're as old as I am. You're not that old. Oh? I take that as a compliment. Listen. You did good. Very proud of you. Thanks. Yeah, handle that tractor like a pro. 
It was nice to watch you drive. Driving is the best thing I know. You could do it all day long. Hope that someday you will. Dad? Yes? Did you always want to be a farmer? Uh, yes and no. What does that mean? It took some time to realize what I want. Sometimes that's necessary. Why? Well, some things are less obvious than others. We should get going. Mom's probably waiting for us. Can I drive home? Sure, why not? Don't mind being passionate for a change. Thanks, Dad. Don't mention it. Hope you're this enthusiastic tomorrow, too. We're coming back? Yup. This was just the beginning. Sweet. That's the spirit. Well, that was kind of a nice memory. This fucking pal junk. Reminds me of him. Okay, I guess we can't go any further that way. Oh, back into the house we go. Oh, there's somebody here. I don't know half of these people. I think he knows someone. And I knew him for years. I don't know why I'm slightly moonwalking back. Okay, anyway. Can I leave? Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Are you enjoying yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Hope that everything was to your liking. Ah, uh, yes it was. That's what I like to hear. I think you're ready to go. Ah, there's one more thing. The old lady said that she'd like to talk with you. Well, uh, one more conversation won't hurt us. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Listen, you seem like a good lad. Could you take that urn? Take it to his favourite place? I know him. He doesn't belong in a can. Would you be so kind? Okay, uh, thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Okay, looks like we're taking the radioactive urn. Okay. Seems we're all set. Enjoy your day. I don't like how you faded out of existence. If he wasn't creepy enough already, he definitely was then. Ooh, that's a nice sunrise. A glorious morning. Oh. Sometimes we get to appear. Okay. You're definitely not human. Not exactly something you'd want from a butler. But we're all creatures of habit. What's happening? If I'm not mistaken, we enjoyed a particularly beautiful sunrise. Wow. Isn't it marvellous? What a shine. I mean, it is actually beautiful. But the sun is very, very big. <laughs> oh. Off you go. We'll speak again. Later. Okay, bye, butler. Okay, well, let's continue on. And now I'm gonna forever feel like I'm being watched. Okay, what is with the white? Oh, that's a TV. Okay, this is kind of weird. The show's about to start. Come, sit with me. Okay, sure, why not? I 
love this little evening routine of ours. Me too. What's on? Uh, the usual. Monday evening crap shot. I don't mind numbing my brain. I've never cared about what we watch. I just like your company. That makes two of us. Oh really? You and your... Oh, let's do sports. I have a different opinion. <laughs> then I have to apologize. TV is only the second most important thing in my life. I'm humbled. Oh, I was thinking about food. <laughs> You're awful. Am I? Yes, you are. But you're awful just the right way. No. I can still keep this telly as my mistress. Uh, what are her thoughts on this? She loves me. Didn't start out like this. But one thing led to another. And here we are. Afraid this is serious. Darn. Here I was. Thinking we had something. Ew, did I know? You know what? You're funny. Thanks. My jokes are yeah, exclusively for you. You keep it that way. And you keep it that way too. Try all this crap there, Ring. Should we do something else? Nah. I have a feeling she had something else in mind. <laughs> oh, that was so nice. So you're off? Yep, I guess we are. Okay, bye bye. Okay, hopefully there's no troll under the bridge. Okay, we're good. Okay, we got another thing here. Ooh, yeah. Bus should be here already. What's taking so long? I don't want to leave just yet. Oh, looks like we're getting a memory flashback. Mum? Go to sleep. But I'm not tired. Just close your eyes for a bit. Fine. Where are we going this early? Go to sleep. How come it's just you and me? Where's dad? He is not here. Well, why? Listen, I want to know. Look, I want to talk now. Where is he? Uh, grown up stuff. It's grown up stuff. Don't concern yourself with this. You always say that. You don't have to worry yourself with this. Between me and your father. Now go back to sleep. Mum? I'm scared. Sweetie. You don't have to be afraid of anything. Why can't you tell me where Dad is? Has something happened to him? Of course not. We just... have to figure some stuff out. That's all. What stuff? Grown up stuff. Too young to understand. No. End of story. But Mum... No buts said that already. Now shut your eyes and go to sleep. They're a long way ahead of us. I'm scared. Because you don't tell me anything. I understand. But you're way too young for this. And besides, why not? I think this has something to do with me. Don't be silly. Of course not. 
Then why won't you tell me what's happening? Promise we'll talk about this. Why not? For the love of... You don't have to trouble yourself with this. It's between me and your dad. But I... End of story. Sheesh. Look. It's just... You really don't need to concern yourself with this stuff. Okay? Please, say something. What? Why do I have to tell you stuff? Huh? Fair enough. You know what? Let's just sit here nice and quiet. I hate riding bus. I hate you. <sighs> That's not fun. Also, this just appeared. That's a carousel. Would you like to ride it? I don't know. Why not? Looks scary. Nothing to fear. I'll be right here. Okay. But you promise to look after me? I promise. Well, that's kind of cute. Especially after that uh, last memory. I was just about to say, um, I don't remember this car being here. My, this looks bad. I hope no one got hurt. Doesn't hurt to hope. Okay, thank you, butler. Uh, okay, I'm just going back to see if there's anything else here that we missed. Okay, this is definitely different. Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> you good there? Okay, this is definitely weird. Okay, well, let's continue on, because there was nothing else back that way. Oh, there's a road. Probably should have looked both ways. Hi. This isn't weird at all. Enjoying yourself? That's more or less a rhetorical question. No need to answer. Enjoyment isn't the top priority here. I like keeping an eye on you. Okay, bye, Butler. It's nice talking to you. That was fucking weird. Okay, we're in cabin. Or well, at a cabin now. Are you ready for the sauna? Uh, sure. Let's go then. I have a towel for you inside. Doesn't surprise me. What? They find the father's seat in the whole sauna. So you can avoid me even here. What? You heard me. Fuck you. Okay, well, we're not done here. Okay, that was definitely very short. Okay, let's move on. What else have we got this way? And the sunlight through the trees is really pretty. Okay, who is this? Oh, I guess we must be seeing a therapist. Great, are you ready to begin the session? Sure. Very well. Okay. What brings you here? He doesn't talk. I talk. No, you don't. At least not the way I hope. Communication is the core element of any relationship. Why do you find it difficult? I like to keep to myself. Are you afraid of something? What would I be afraid of? Just enjoy the silence. 
How does this make you feel? Uh, furious. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a relationship with a wall. I'm getting tired of it. What do you think about this? He's overreacting. I made this into a problem. Why can't you respect my boundaries? Sound very defensive about this. You no idea where this might be coming from? He's not going to say anything. I'll bet on it. Let's settle down. That's better. Why do you find his silence a problem? He is hiding something. I can feel it. For the love of... I told you this a million times already. I'm not hiding anything. Look. I think the real issue here is the way we met each other. Go on. You never got over it. No. Huh, okay. Okay, I don't know what the options were wanting me to pick, but... <clears throat> oh, hi again. What an extraordinary day, don't you think? I'm afraid I don't have time for chatting. I have things to do. I'm always in such a hurry. It's a shame, especially on a day like this. Okay, nice chatting to you. Okay, what have we got here? Got another tractor thing. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Also, I just realized it's really pretty pink over there. For Christ's sake, what? Not much of a talker. Well, got two choices here. Can go up or down. There's that nice little cave. Or you can go up there. Just one thing. I've been lumberjacking the whole morning. I'm really not in the mood to cut down that last tree. I kinda like it. The truth is... And also just a little bit pissed. You see? All our smokes. I could chop that tree down for you, but not for free. Tell you what, you give me a cigarette, I might return the favour. How's that? Uh, fine, might as well go up, because I want to see what the pink thing is. Splendid! Okay, well, looks like we're trying to find a smoke for him. Oh, hello. No drop it, are ya? You there? Need to talk to you. Look, I know this is probably a bit weird, can't try and talk in there and all, but I need to get past that. I'm a fucking bear. I can fucking talk. Great. This tobacco hunting of yours completed a nasty turn of events. Uh oh. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Seemed like a decent fellow. Go also sometime. Take care of yourself. Oh, thank you, Bear. Thanks for the heads up. Sure, it's not going to be that bad, I hope. Oh, hello, you guys were definitely not there before. I want to go faster. Try my best. But you're so damn heavy. Stop complaining. Put your back into it. Okay, well, you kids have fun. Oh, hello. Oh, the car's gone. Oh, also you have a smoke. Yikes. Where did you come from? 
Ik scheer de bejesus aan. Did you go to the memorial service? Probably has ended already. I had no business here in the first place. We weren't actually friends. I mean, we were. I was an asshole. Made his life pretty difficult. This stuff has haunted me for years. And when I finally man up, he drops dead. Just my luck. He's a good little bitch. Come on. Someone's gonna come here any minute. Don't be such a pussy. We're having a conversation. Aren't we? Aren't we? Finally, we're getting somewhere. How does it feel being a little bitch? Tiny little insect. Just inches from your own piss. Pathetic. Wish your mum would be here to see it. She'd be proud. You could little pussy and answer. Y yes. But really. You think so? My mum wouldn't. Uh, let's do it about your father. About your father. My dad, he says he's a real loser. Mine too. But he got depressed when your mum decided to hunt a cock somewhere else. Are you feeling depressed? I bet you do. I would. Ready to have a drink? I bet you like the taste of your own piss. No wonder your parents divorced. About a son like that? Piss drinking offspring? Who wouldn't be proud? I bet you're the reason why your parents broke up. They just got sick of you. Now you're just bouncing it back and forth between your mum and dad. Because no one wants you. They have to take turns. Your burden. Just something they have to take care of. Like a disease. Like AIDS, you get it for life. Yeah. But your mum has AIDS too. Gone through everyone, you know? Why can you think you like this? This could become a daily routine. Come on, I don't want to get caught. Don't shut your pie hole this instant. I swear I'm going to take a shit and use it as a product to style your hair. Just keep watch. Sure thing. My dad is a hero. There's a certain kind of toughness which he has passed on to me. Like father. Would you agree? No answer. Spineless goo. So fucking pathetic. It makes me so angry. I dare you to prove me wrong. But no. Accepting your fate. Like a lamb on its way to the butcher. I mean, how can you live with yourself? Yeah. He must have hated you. That's the reason you're here. I can fucking taste the loathe he feels for you. But he thinks you deserve this. I'm gonna man you up. Teaching those lessons your old man should have teached. School life is the best way to learn things. I'm gonna keep it, keep at it until you learn. You disgust me. Uh, I heard your dad has mental issues. Really? Yep. A legitimate nutcase. He's depressed. Shut up. I'm in the middle of something. Yep. 
on medication and stuff. But to me, it sounds like a lousy excuse for unemployment. Is it crazy or just lazy? Probably both. Come on. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Jesus Christ. Fine. Have it your way. Yeah. But we're not done. Yeah, that bear wasn't kidding about this. That was that. Can't say I'm proud of myself. What do you think? Do you forgive me? Probably not. <laughs> Should have contacted him ages ago. After all, he's my best friend. You want something? A smoke? Here you go. I'll see how about learned when I was a kid. This will be the end of me. Lung cancer. Karma is a bitch. And probably well deserved too. Oh yeah, the carousel is back again. Okay, got you your smoke. Son of a bitch. Thanks. What are you staring at? Want a break? Get going. Did you forget the reason why I gave you the smoke? Since I have to crank out good old Bertha. Okay, here we go. Fuck these old bones. Timber! Motherfuckers. You're welcome. Thank you, finally we can cross and find out what is up beyond this area. Well, apparently this is purple, not pink, by the uh, achievement that I just got. Ah, wonderful to see. I'm so hungry. I could kill for a burger like this. Funny thing, life is like a hamburger. There's a top and bottom, and everything in between. This particular burger was rather good, but I've eaten my share of bad ones. I can imagine you have two. You take it easy, okay? Great. Okay, bye again, butler. Yeah, this is definitely a weird place. Uh, how far are you going to zoom out? <laughs> okay. Okay, we not going to interact with that. Guess not. Oh, just notice that there's somebody here building this house. So the music is weird. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Give me a hand. Okay, fine. I am almost done. Take your time. We're not in a hurry. What do you think? There's still so much to do. Yep. Sometimes I wonder if this will ever be completed. Yeah, of course it will. Yeah, but the more I do, on the other hand, this can't last forever. Others have finished their houses, so I guess there's still hope. Of course there is. Enough about me complaining. How are you doing? I'm excited. That's nice to hear. Can't wait to move in here. And baby is due in just a few months. This is all just so wonderful. Yeah, it's awesome. Anyways, 
You want to talk about something? Uh, about what? I don't know. Just something. Nothing? I'm sorry. Do you not think of it? I'm done for the day. Let's grow our stuff and get going. Okay, well, I will leave you to it. Okay, let's see what is further on this way. Ooh, there's a big crane. Uh, kind of hoping that thing isn't going to fall on us, because uh, it's going to be, um, yeah. I had to say, that'd be a very painful death, <laughs> getting squashed by one of those. Oop. Okay, I guess we're going in. Sure nothing bad will happen. Oh, this is kind of weird. Also, you're green. Oh, who took you so long? I was worried. Come sit with me. Okay, I guess we're gonna have a chat with whoever you are. I was wondering if this is Kermit. <laughs> I mean, looking a little bit too human to be Kermit, but isn't this something? You bet your ass it is. We've got this place all to ourselves. Thank God we're done with the movie. I hate hauling stuff from one place to another. Now it's done. You can finally relax. Is that what you've been doing all along? It was me who did all the heavy lifting. Here we go again. Same bullshit. You think you should live in a hotel? You need to carry your own weight. How dare you? What's your contribution to all this? Who not count the washing machine and a few pieces of furniture. I did my part. Look, I need to participate. I want to share things with you. Because we're in this together. I know. I'm sorry. It's just... You can tell me. It's nothing. Come on. I'm not going to do this stay walling thing. Tell me what's wrong. When I was a kid, I moved into this house my parents had built. That's where things started to fall apart. I was very young when that happened, but I still remember it very well. Guess I'm trying to avoid that happening to me. That makes any sense. Yeah, what happened to us? You're not your father. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a ship. <laughs> just moving around. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, let's just continue on. And there's a lot of heavy subjects in this game. <laughs> Ooh, there's a button. Let's go press it. What's gonna happen? Oh. Okay. Platonic Ray Memorial. And it's a caution party zone. I think it's about to happen. Okay, we're almost there. How are you holding up? Exhausted. I'm sorry for that. I need you to keep up, okay? Okay. Good. Let's do this. I need you to push. Could you do that for me? Yes. Good. Take a deep breath and push. Try that again. 
Take a deep breath and push. Try that again. Take a deep breath and push. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what I was doing, but um, kept on repeating the same thing, so I just kept on spamming control. Okay, I can see the head. Just a little bit more. Need you to push again. Nice deep breath and push. Wonderful. You're doing great. And we're almost there. Just one more big push. And that's it. Okay, I can do that. Great. It'll be all over soon. Once more. Push. Try again. Push. Well done. Hey, we got our little baby. What a beautiful baby boy. Would you, would you look at him? He's perfect. We're done, I. I'm going to keep you safe. Yep. Always. I've never been this happy. Me neither. Well, that was interesting. Okay, well, up the big hill we go. Here we go, another lady here. Slowly make our way on up. Hello. What are we going to talk about? I should make a wish. I know exactly what I want. Lovely summer breeze. Yes. It's a perfect day. See, it's always like that. Always? Don't be silly. I'm serious. I really mean what I say. When did you become so soft? Always been like this. Yeah. I love you just the way you are. I kind of miss the old days. Ace? We did all kinds of crazy things together. You want to do something stupid? Why the hell not? It'd be fun to do something we're not supposed to do. You serious? Damn right I'm serious. Come on, let's do something crazy. Okay. You're scaring me a bit. Don't want to get in trouble. That's all idea. Yeah, I'm having some serious doubts. Nonsense. This would be something we will remember for the rest of our lives. So, no pressure? Have you decided already? Well, I have an idea. Don't tease me. All in good time. All in good time. Wow. I must be crazy. But here goes. Would you marry me? What? Are you serious? I'm dead fucking serious. I want to spend the rest of my days with you. Sorry it took me so long to realize. You're the best person I know. Wow. I can't say I saw this coming. I thought you were going to jump me from a roof or, or some building, or something like that. But you want to settle down? I've never been this surprised in my life, which is a lot. Look, I'm panicking here. What do you say? I meant what I said. Will you marry me? Yes. No, oh, kind of cute.
Okay, well, let's move on from that. Okay, we will get some more street lights and another car. But this one isn't actually crashed this time, which is good. Ooh, something's going on. It's kind of bright. I <laughs> like on the side of the camera and it says WTE. WTF. <laughs> I like that. I think it will fall apart any minute. Thank God I like to live dangerously. Okay, what memory are, go are we going to this time? You know where we're going? Of course. Are you sure? Feels like we've been driving for ages. Have a little faith. Don't you trust me? Uh, of course I trust you. This has nothing to do with that. Drive shouldn't take this long. Have you been there? Uh, no. But I'm pretty sure the drive shouldn't take this long. Just, let's just keep going. I'm sure we'll get there eventually. I sure hope so. It's now night time. It's been four fucking hours. Do you think we should be there by now? Huh? You're right. Pro probably lost. You happy? What? Let's just pull over. We'll turn around tomorrow and head for the right direction. Must be tied to. Yep. Can't argue with that. Look, I'm sorry. I should have checked our directions when you told me. Damn straight you should have. Guess what? What? This is something I can teach you with for the rest of our lives. And you can be sure that I'll do exactly that. Fucking moron. Yay, we got lost. Okay, welp. Hopefully we won't get lost on our way to the favourite place of this friend of ours. Okay, where the hell are we now? We're almost done. What do you, what do you mean? Just unpack these things and then I can rest. Look, we're still miles from the finish line. What's wrong? I'm just tired. That's all. I know you're tired. I'm too. But we need to get things in order. The faster we work, the faster we're done. I've been working non-stop for the past year. I have to take care of the farm. All the free time I have. I have no idea how tired I am. What do you want me to do about it? How about appreciate my work? Even understanding how much I've done. Can we get some help? I'm so tired. Where can we get it? I'm asking for help. Other people can pull off these kinds of things. It's not that hard, you know. All it take is, takes is effort. Fine, I'll grind through this. Don't get give two shits about me. This has nothing to do with caring. We both have our roles to play. I take care of him, you take care of us. This is bullshit. What did you say? This is bullshit. It's not worth the effort. So you want to quit this close to the finish line? Let's just get this done. Oh, and don't shout in front of him. He doesn't have to hear us argue. Yikes. I 
Okay, well, moving on from that. Wait, yeah, we moved on from a completed house to now ruined. <laughs> Okay, so guess we're at a wedding. Dearly beloved, I gathered here today to get through this thing called life, which is, as you all know, sometimes a lot easier said than done. It's wonderful to see young love. It brings me great joy to be here to wed you. This guy and me have been through a lot. You can still change your mind. I know from personal experience that he can be a handful. Very well. If there are no objections. Let's carry on with the ceremony. Understand that you've written vows for each other. Let's hear them. You're my partner in crime. Others wouldn't believe how much trouble we've gotten ourselves into. I'm glad I can share these memories with you. It's not always easy with you. And it doesn't have to be. As long as we have each other, we'll be fine. This is a special day. One to remember. Now you're mine. I couldn't be happier. Bottom line is... That I want to grow old with you. You're perfect just the way you are. Thanks for having my back. I've always love for you. And take care of you. Guessing we're doing his vows now. You... This is so difficult. I tried to come up with something beautiful. But saying things the way they are is hard. I love you. Try my best with this. Very happy. You have no idea how happy I am. I wish I could say how I feel. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. Let's just don't cut it. A man of few words. <laughs> wow. I'm touched. Now, it's time for the main event. Let's get the do's out of the way. You guys are ready to take the ball and chain? I do. I do. Wonderful. Gives me great pleasure to pronounce you man and wife. Go on. Kiss your bride. Well, that was kind of sweet. Okay, well, let's continue on. Whoa, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> I feel gross now. <laughs> hey. Hello. Do you have a ticket? Uh, no. Too bad. This ride is invite only. Ooh, loving the music. You. Is there a problem? This. Mini Head doesn't have a ticket. So he can't ride the train. Oh. There must be a misunderstanding. He's, he needs to be on that train. But he has no ticket. So he can't ride. Rules are rules. You and me both know that. Look, let him ride that train. Like I said, he needs to be here. What do you say? Let me think. Or is this a tall order? Screw you and your stupid puns. Come on. Had it with you. You tall fuck. Let's be civilized. Civilized my ass. Fine. He can ride. Not like we're overbooked or anything. You owe me. 
Yes, I'm glad this is sorted. See you soon. I hate that piece of shit. It must be the longest dookie in history. Open, here's our train. Aw, the music went away. <laughs> that was definitely really cool. All aboard. Okay, well, let's go on the tr uh, Hold on. Ah, ah, um, I may have fucked up. I may have fucked up. Can we, can we get on? Okay, well, uh, let's try this again. And try not to get off this. Oh, I didn't get the cows this time. So yeah, I had to restart the game to be able to get back here. Okay, would you just look at this? Let's go for a ride. Just you and me. This is so cool. You got that right, sonny boy. Dad? Yes? Could I be a farmer someday? Of course. This is good. I like working with you. Likewise, little rascal. I always said that I should study. That I should, shouldn't waste my life on farming. If she doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm going to leave all this to you. There's nothing she can say that will change that. Got that? But what if I want to study? Why would you want that? I like school. Oh shit. Nobody likes school. <laughs> this music doesn't fit the scene, but I fucking love it though. You just forget those stupid thoughts, okay? When you're all growing up, you can spend your days driving around in this sweet ass tractor. Sounds a lot better than school. Don't you think? Sure it does. That's the spirit. Let's go drive another lap around the field. What do you say? Can I steer? There's the bear shit in the woods. All I ever wanted was a son. I did everything for you. Obviously that was not enough. Oop, okay, I guess we're going through to here. And I see you to come by. You come today. I'm sure of it. How long has it been? Uh, weeks? Probably. Silly me. Time goes by so fast. I miss him. I hope everything's alright. Should I call him? Yeah. Yes. I think I should. I'll do that. Once I'm done with this coffee. Uh, is he angry at me? I hope not. Of course he isn't. He knows I love him. Or does he? And no. Uh, point never told him that. But all mothers love their children. He knows that I do too. He's a grown man. A little boy. I still a worry. Okay, well, um, hope nothing bad has happened. Okay, well, uh, let's go over. Yeah, to this one. This is so hard. Come on. Just kidding. This is the game this game I've ever played. Can't believe you suck at this. I mean, all you do is walk and talk to people. How come anyone can find this interesting? I kind of see the appeal. <laughs> They're taking a shot this game <laughs> that they're making. 
Good. It sure sounds like it. You're awfully quiet. Uh, something happened? Let's talk about some other time. Or it about some other time, okay? You can tell me. There's no time like the present. Now I really want to know. Okay, but you're not going to like it. What is it? There's no easy way to say this. I'm afraid. I'm sick. I mean, really sick. What? How bad is it? Bottom line is, I probably won't see you next year. Are you sure about this? Okay, so I had to uh, restart the game because uh, it froze on me, so <laughs> I don't know how much of this would change. Yes, we got the cows! Oh my god. Okay, I was hoping <laughs> we'd get this one. Well, finally got what you wanted, didn't you? You three are the last ones. That's the end of it. Well, if it isn't my beloved son, come on. Now, did you come to spit in my face? What? That's what you're doing to me. Stop it. This is how you thank me. I'm broke. Ruined. Because of you. I thought you thought we'd work together. We can still what? Talk like women. Can't believe what kind of pussy you become. Fuck you. Well, that wasn't as fun as I was hoping to be. You were such a disappointment. Yo, fuck you, Dad. Okay, um... Before you... Let's say this one. I... Can you blame me for something? Here you are. What did you want to talk about? You know damn well. No oh, mind reader. Unbelievable. After all this time, still want to remain silent? You had to be disciplined. Had to? What choice did I have? Talking never helped anyone. Look where your dad and I ended up. Do you think it was easy for me? But it had to be done. So you learn to respect others. Unlike that no good father of yours. Did what I did because I love you. Christ. So you really think it all worked out in the end? That it all was all worth it? No. I feel terrible about it. But in the big picture, look, I'm getting a divorce. Just want to let you know. Still think that you yeah. ace that parenting thing? <laughs> no. I made my mistakes. But this is not my fault. Did the best I could. Yeah, and your best was definitely not <laughs> not that great. I wonder what was best for you. Okay, well, um, yeah. Onto the arcade again? It's so hard. Okay, so yeah, we actually did read the beginning of this. But.
now I really want to know. Okay, but you're not gonna like it. What is it? No easy way to say this, I'm afraid. How bad is it? Bottom line is, I probably won't see it next year. And you're sure about this? Absolutely sure? You're pulling my leg like this. I know I forgive you. Fuck games. Okay, well that one's now done. Okay, what about this? Come on, give me a hand. This rust bucket ain't gonna fix itself. What the fuck is keeping that fucking thing in place? <laughs> fucking fuck, fuck. <laughs> calm down. You fucking calm down. Piece of cheese, give me a hand job. A cheese grinder. Seriously? Why do you get all worked up? You're right. I'm sorry. Let me catch my breath. Take your time. Came damn close to a heart attack. Yeah. It actually felt like that. You want to talk about it? About what? Of course, the incident a few seconds ago? It's nothing. Sure didn't sound like that. How have we known each other? I say we are well over two decades. So I kind of know when something's not right. And on top of that, I said the man upstairs. So now's the perfect opportunity to get some load off your shoulders. This isn't exactly a confession booth, but it's just the two of us. And you know you can trust me. Uh, is it serious? Well, I couldn't say that. Going through my childhood in therapy, things were pretty fucked up then. But lanes a lot, but makes me so fucking angry. That's heavy. Can we just piece, uh, just fix this piece of shit? Not in the mood for motivational bullshit. I know you care, and that's enough for me. Sure thing. But if you want to, yeah, yeah. Have you that monkey wrench? Would you? At least he had a good friend. So sorry. Ooh, okay, hello. I just seen what was over this way. Don't care what that bastard told you, but this is my train. I say who rides on it. Think the best thing I could do for you is to help you to help yourself. Also, no set <laughs> number on the train. <laughs> nice. Let's see who's laughing now. This is nothing personal. No, oh, really? Oh, hi. Okay, well, I want to go back in because um, I didn't quite talk to this person. Go on. Get the rest of your stuff. I'm done. Got everything. Good. Get the fuck out of my driveway. Piece of shit. Try to watch in your face. Fine. Just thought maybe we could try and talk things out. Talk things out? We're way past that. Ran out of things to talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, that would definitely do it. You're dead to me. Great. Just pour it all on me. That's exactly what I'm doing. Cause you deserve all of it. Miss little bastard. 
Was I am the only one to blame? Yes. A million times, yes. You're the one who fucked everything up. Just for a taste of, uh... Young pussy. <laughs> Don't know anything about it. There's something I need to know? Cause I can't think of a single thing I need to know. Just happy that someone takes you out of my hands. I don't have to see you ever again. What these years mean meant nothing. Not anymore. You push them away. I have to start from scratch. Back in square one. Thanks to you. Make me rotten hell. You have to face the consequences of your actions. Get the fuck out of here. Before I call the cops. Yeah, yikes. Piece of shit. It seems like everyone was <laughs> not good. Okay, well, um... Onto our hand we go. You're not gonna eat me, are you? Uh, the music stopped now. Oh, it's actually a bit more quieter now. More peaceful. Okay, hello again. Ah, it finally arrived. Took you long enough. The end of the line. And thanks to my little friend, you're exactly where you need to be. I suppose you want some answers. Very well, but I'm not sure you're going to lag them. You're dead. Yeah, I figured we might have been the guy uh, that the funeral was for. What's left of your earthly remains are stored in that urn. But I guess you figured this out already. Yep. Let's just get the obvious stuff out of the way first. Bet you're itching to know what this place is. Fortunately, I can't give you a straight answer. You need to figure that out by yourself. <coughs> and trust me, we still have a long way to go. The urn you've been carrying around was empty. Each time you talk to somebody, relationships can be complicated. You give some. As the old lady said when we first talked with each other, you need to dump the contents of that jar in one special place, which is just around the corner. Those ashes of yours don't fill the cup, so I'm afraid I can't let you pass. Still a lot of ground to cover, because you've only seen a glimpse of what this place has to offer. To conclude this little venture of ours, enter that chapel, get some rest. Feel better in the morning. Trust me, we'll speak again soon. Oh, but I want to go to the exit though. But all in good time. Can't go there just yet. But, 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 I want to go there though. God damn it. Okay, into the chapel we go, I guess. Every morning we are born again. What the fuck is that? Alright. I don't like that. That is fucking creepy. I don't like any of that. Nope, not going that way. Okay, we can go that way. Okay, we can go to speak to him. His shit hasn't been running in years. Brings back a lot of memories. Why did this have to happen? He didn't deserve this. Don't you two look handsome? 
Stay still. Going to take a few more. Mom, how much longer? Hush. Let her have her fun. Congratulations are in order. You've been a fancy graduate and all. A little bit overwhelming for a hillbilly such as me. What do you mean? Have it all figured out. Don't you? Get to work in a comfy office. Air conditioning and all. What I got left here is my bones. Just a few more. Just take your time. We're in no hurry. Yeah. Where were we? Oh. I hope it's something else for you. My dream was to leave everything for you. But instead you took it. I want you to save this moment. I hope you always remember it. That little tractor over there is all I have left from my last work. I'm going to get the biggest possible photo of these shots. Make two copies of it. Another one. It's for your mother. She won't understand the meaning, but she deserves to have this image on her trophy wall. For gunning me dry. Twice. Turned out great. Thanks. My. Our pleasure. Yeah, he's definitely a prick. <laughs> Okay, well, this fucking pile of junk. Never understood how it works. Okay, well, fortunately, we've got to go back inside. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be talking to one. Ah, uh, mum. <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, can't believe he's gone. The little baby boy. Now he's in that. That jar. Remember when he was little? His favorite place in the whole world. Aren't you the sweetest thing? All we do is eat and sleep. You're adorable. You just stay that way. Adorable and all. And why wouldn't you? You know, I never thought I could be this happy. I just hope this lasts. Why wouldn't it? There's nothing that can come between us. Do you know what's strange? The first time in my life, I wouldn't change anything. Not a damn thing. You're dead? I love you too. A little family. Can you imagine? This was worth it all. It wasn't easy to get here. Far from it. We had our issues. But the fights were worth it. Do you want to hear a secret? This is a very special place. It's your dad's favourite place in the whole world. I hope it will be yours too. My dad has a soft spot for ducks. I'm curious to see if you do too. Which eventually he does. My sweet baby. Why did this have to happen to me? Yeah, well maybe stop making it about yourself. <laughs> okay, let's talk to the priest again. He was such a good friend. Man, don't let the colour fool you. We got into so much trouble back in the day. Those were good times. I should have been in contact more often. Too late for that now. But it is what it is. He was involved in probably the most embarrassing experience of my life. 
So let me get this straight. You're saying that your mum, your mum, has a lightsaber? Yep. Exactly like Luke has in Return of the Jedi. Give me a break. Can you believe this nonsense? Eh, yeah, maybe. What? This is like the biggest load of horseshit I've ever heard in my entire life. Can you believe it? Dude can't be this dumb. Look. I swear I'm telling the truth. If you don't believe me, I can show you guys a lightsaber. Great. Go get your X-Wing. Dying to see your Jedi mom's lightsaber. Fine. Let's go. Nah. It's a waste of time. Are you going? Yes. I want to see the lightsaber. <laughs> I'm curious. Sheesh. No lightsaber there. It's just some bogus excuse to get us to visit him. Both know that there's nothing but roaches. Shut up. What? Don't talk to him like that. You standing out for this loser? What a fucking joke. Screw you. Let's go see that lightsaber of yours. It's right there. In the top, top drawer. <laughs> I hope they had feeling about this. <laughs> I have a feeling that it's going to be a um, different kind of toy. <laughs> Gotta be shitting me. Right? What do you mean? Lightsaber in a nightstand? Look, I have no idea why she keeps it here, but there it is. Maybe the Empire likes to attack at night. I suppose. Just open the drawer and see for yourself. Here it goes. <laughs> of course it fucking is. It's a cold and dark dildo. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> See? There's a real lightsaber. I haven't figured out how it works. Probably for the best that you don't. At least not for a few good years. <laughs> Just vibrates when you push the button. But I guess you had to be a Jedi to use the lightsaber. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> This is huge. I wonder if my mum is also a Jedi. Uh, for fuck's sake. She probably has one, but probably not go in the dark. It's totally possible. Look, you have to tell the others. They need to know. No, I don't think they need to know. It's just going to give them so many more reasons to bully you. You're right. What should we do? Tell you what. Bring this... <laughs> no, don't bring this to school. It's not good. Not a good idea. I just will believe us when we show them the evidence. Yeah, and I have a feeling that the teacher is not going to be happy. Okay, but I have to be really careful that mum doesn't see. She might need this. The Empire attacks. Look, she can use the Force. She probably won't even notice it if you're borrowing her saber. Better wash this. Yeah. Ew, ew. Make sure to wash your hands thoroughly too. <laughs> That's how we became friends. Those were good times. <laughs> oh my god. Can't believe we actually <laughs> went through that. <sighs> god damn it. Okay, well, um, apparently we can talk to you guys. Join the party. We love funerals. Yup. I actually knew the fellow personally. We weren't exactly friends. But yeah. You don't want us hanging around. You sure you don't? Tell you the truth. I'm sad to see the fucker go. He kept us well fed. Ain't that right? Happy fucking trails, I suppose. Oh, 
he told us to give you this? I like, it might come in handy later on. You take care of yourself. Huh, okay. Thanks for that. Oh, I think that might have been part of the ticket. That we probably couldn't need it. Like ages ago. Oh, hello again. There you are. I was a bit worried. But you made it. It's a new day. And isn't it spectacular? Yes, yes it is. Very pretty outside. I'm so excited. Waiting for this this for weeks. So nice to watch this with you. A couple of minutes before it starts. How was your day? It was okay. Just like any other day. Are you missing something? It's not that. The same. All day, every day. I don't mind. Yes. That this is all there is. Are you happy? Or aren't you happy? I'm not unhappy. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just... Not happy. What now? I don't know. You don't know? I think you do know. Now let's push. Speak up. Well? Say something. This is bullshit. I'm so tired of this. God damn it. Say something. I'm not doing this anymore. What? This? Why do you just scream at me? But you just stay silent. It's like talking with a wall. I can't do this anymore. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Are you that clueless? I just can't take this anymore. I just can't. You still don't have nothing to say? Wow. Well, we'll leave you be. So you're off. Yep, yep we are. Over the bridge we go. What other miserable memories are we going to get this time? Here we got boss. Okay, can we? Okay, there we go. What should be here already? What's taking so long? Where to? I'm almost done my round. Usually the bus is empty by now. How come you're still here? Mind your own business. Sure thing, boss. Uh, so you're walking home? What? It's gonna be a long trip. I live miles from here. I'm heading home. Whatever. I'll walk. You're a real badass, aren't you? Go take shit from no one. I'm just kidding. So why are you sitting in a bus? A bit of a typo there. This ain't much to look at. It smells bad. I'm the only one with a comfortable seat. I enjoy the silence. Soon you give me a hint. <laughs> but this is my bus, so I call the shots. You don't want to go home? Something happened there? What do you care? Stop moving around. Just trying to have a discussion, that's all. No need to get upset. Come on, what's going on? What do you care? I don't, I'm just curious. 
Because no one spends their time by sitting on a crappy bus like this. No one. Has something happened? I just don't want to go home. Look, parents must be worried by now. It's a long walk. Let's turn around. You'll thank me later. My parents were scumbags too. Want to know how I survived? How? One day at a time. Yeah, but that usually isn't enough in situations like these. Okay, well, looks like we're heading on. And into the forest. Okay, what is this guy going to talk about now? Okay, if we can... Okay, there we go. Are we ready for the sauna? Yes. Let's go then. I have a towel for you inside. Hard enough for you? Yes. Good. Been burning wood since this morning. Should be decent enough. Yep. Sure is. Yep. So, everything good and all? Can't complain. Good. Good. That's good to hear. Good to hear you're doing good. Man, it's hot in here. Sure is. Yep. Mean meaning to talk about. How about I feel that I was around more? It's something I really regret. Really late for that now. Can be as sorry as you like. Fair enough. I guess I deserve that. But things aren't as black and white as you might think. How come they're not? The bottom line is... That's your mother talking. What do you mean? It was you who left. We had to get on by ourselves. Is that what you think? Because you're wrong. I find that hard to believe. If you really wanted to make things right, who would have done it? Not run away, like a coward. I didn't run away. I had to go. It wasn't by choice. What do you mean? Your mum and I had issues for a very long time. Would have wanted to fix them. But she decided. She made the choice to leave. Didn't have a say on that. First, I stayed away. But as time went by, I know I made wrong choices. But I really tried my best. Well, that's your excuse? What do you mean? Mum tells a different story. Can't say I'm surprised. Go on. You know, Mum hasn't really talked about you at all. I think there's a reason for this. Look, you know how Mum is. What do you mean? Well, never been in a chatterbox. Neither have I. Or do you disagree? That's a fair point. She's been like that as far as I can tell. At first it was fine. I think everyone wants a relationship with no arguments. Everything was smooth and dandy for a very long time. But that didn't mean we didn't have issues. We just never talked about them. And guess what happened? Everything piled up? Exactly. When she finally opened her mouth, Probably don't remember, but before all the arguing started, we were pretty happy. Even to this day, I still think we could have fixed everything. But I guess it was easier this way.
We never learned how to argue properly. If you keep everything to yourself, it comes a burn at some point. Once you let it all out, that's fucking exhausting. Kept it at it for years. We were unable to see the faults in ourselves. So we blamed each other. Now we go around discussing the real issues. I guess we just got tired of arguing. Some sense. But um, part of me is still sad over what happened. Mainly because of you. I always wanted to be a dad. Following in this is one of the roughest experiences of my life. Sorry about everything. I really am. Really appreciate you coming here. Tell you the truth, I'm surprised you said yes. I've been meaning to contact you for a very long time. Somehow, it always felt like the timing was wrong. But the truth is, no other way to say it. What were you afraid of? That you hate me. And you have every right to. Hate is a pretty strong word. I don't hate you. I hate some of your choices. But not you. This means a lot to me. I probably don't understand how much. Thank you. Well, that's kind of bittersweet. Fuck this shit. Yeah, fuck all of it. Okay, well, continuing on. Okay, now we got the therapy session that we know we got to quite complete last time. Great. Are you ready to begin the session? Yes. Very well. Okay, what brings you here? Doesn't talk. I talk. No, you don't. At least not in the way I hope. Communication is the core of element, core element of any relationship. Why do you find it difficult? I like to keep to myself. Are you afraid of something? No, just don't like talking. And how does it make you feel? Desperate. I've tried everything to change things, but nothing seems to help. What do you think about this? She's overreacting. Why make this into a problem? Why can't you respect my boundaries? sound very defensive about this. Any idea where this might be coming from? Oh, come on. Open your goddamn mouth. Let's settle down. That's better. Why do you find your silence a problem? Doesn't care. Or oh, that's how I feel. Like I'm not important. Do you care about her? Of course I do. Wouldn't be here if I didn't. Look, I think the real issue here is the way we meet each other. Go on. Never got over it. Let's try yes this time. Oh, so it actually just ends here anyway. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, see you later. I can just pull the lever. Huh, interesting. But I actually want to go down to the caves this time. Because I want to see what's down here. Because we know, never got to check this area out. Okay, this is interesting. Oh shit. I need to be somewhere. Okay, bye. Okay, this is an interesting place. Why are you really? I'm on a mission. 
here by choice. But you didn't have the, ow, my eyes. But you don't have the faintest idea who I am. But I remember you really good. Hungry as hell. I promise to tell you all about it. You get me something to eat. How's that? Uh, sure. Already. Okay, so I guess we... Kinda need to find some food. Oh, okay, I guess it's down here somewhere. Because I can't go back. Ow, eyes. I just got fucking flashbanged. Oh, there's like thing right there. Okay, well, we'll talk to this guy first. What do you want? I'm busy. Painting a tribute to a friend. Or rather, a person I used to know. Never cared for this kind of vandalism. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Got me into trouble so many times. So much easier on YouTube. I'm embarrassed. Come on, what's taking so long? You want to try? Come on, just hurry up. This is your idea. I don't understand why I'm here. I'm only doing all the work. Did you say something? Never mind. Where did you get this idea? I wanted to be romantic. Seems like I'm the romantic one here. Come on, I know the shit about painting. What to do, Lord? He's going to be so impressed. Of your work? I know you won't mind. You know I'll return the favour. Like before. What do you mean? Whenever you ever return me the favour. Don't be stupid. Many times. Name one. That's not the point. I'm always there for you. Yeah. Oh shit. Run. Great man for himself. <laughs> oh, fuck you then. First timer? Yeah. It's pretty easy to tell by the looks of the tag you're painting. Usually vandals start early. But you're surprisingly mature to be painting walls. I don't mean this as a compliment. Get this over there so you can get home. Were you alone? Yeah, fuck it. Not every man for himself. No. Didn't think so. Don't strike me as a criminal. No offense. But the real vandals aren't scared shitless this easy. Where did your accomplice go? He ran. Like a coward. You pay a little more attention to who you're hanging out. Taking a wall isn't a big thing, but usually everyone starts out small. It's okay to say no. If something tells me you knew this was a bad idea. Alright? Yes, sir. Next time someone comes and asks you to do something stupid, do me a favour. Just say no. Okay? Yes, sir. Alright, stay out of drugs and spray cans. Remember to study, do something productive with your life. Yes, sir. Get gone. Okay, at least we got let out. <laughs> no idea what's keeping that thing in place. This one just pops out nice and easy. God damn it. Nice to hear from you. Been a while since we last saw each other. Yep. How you been? The usual. Nothing special. Just trying to get by. Basic stuff. How about you? Uh, can't complain. Everything is good. Good to hear. Nice to see you. I mean, maybe you don't think I'm here just to get this piece of junk running again. Yeah, that thought crossed my mind. If I'm completely honest, 
No, you don't do that on purpose. Fair enough. But these were special circumstances. Of course, I want to see you. Uh, are you in trouble? Of course not. The situation just requires a certain kind of subtlety. You catch my drift. I'm afraid I don't. This car belongs to my friend. I promise to help her out. Her? Know what you think. What is it? I'm helping out a friend. By getting a car fixed off the grid? This kind of it's kind of help when I see it. You think I'm your friend? Don't be absurd. Come on. The least you could do is admit it. Grow a spine. Lying to me and asking a favour at the same time is despicable. The least you could do is be honest. Nothing's changed since high school. I think everything revolves around you. I'm dumb enough to go along. Who really thought you wanted to see me? As a friend. I'm done with you. This time for good. Which is fair enough. Okay, we got a vending machine. Also don't like that it looks like to be blood. Get number one. Apparently from the team that I got that I got the naughty burger. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave that be. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, well here's your food. What the hell is this? I wonder what the expiration date is. That was a this was a burger. Well, thanks. Deal is a deal. I'm going to tell you all about it. You know, I used to be quite happy. It an ordinary life. It was beautiful. Everything I ever wanted. Right there. Life was good. But it wasn't meant to last. I call good things. My biggest mistake was to take everything for granted and trusting people. I refused to see the truth. It was there, right in front of my eyes. Little things. But it was easier just to ignore them. It started to drift apart. It was so slow till it was too late. I worked like crazy and for a time but that didn't take care of the problem. But at least I didn't have to think about my personal life all the time. I got tired and angry. The more I worked she was already distant. I think this is where she stopped caring. I've become something she loathed. She found it interesting and it worked too. I was left alone. Time she was gone for days. Business trips. Didn't believe a word. Then came the office Christmas party. It was late at night when I noticed something on the social media. She had posted a photo. Told me it was an accident posting the photo. But he had been around for, for months. That was it. I got my answer. Personal life was in ruins. And you don't know the worst part. We broke up. After a few months, she contacted me. Word the two of us had was over. She said she'd realised the truth. She apologised and wanted to make things right. 
but it was too late. It was weird. At one point, I would have given everything just to have her. But when I finally did lose all I had, I couldn't look her in the eye. He disgusted me. There was no way I could ever trust her again. Funny thing, that burger, something he already made me eat. Well, that was an interesting conversation. Well, we will leave you be. Okay, what else have we got down here? Oh, that's bright. He's not going to bite you. Just hold her still. Oh, we got the cows again, I just realised. Come on. How long is this going to take? I'm trying. Make some cheese while you're at it. How the fuck does it take so long? Are you even trying? He is watching. Don't want to argue in front of him. Okay. Uh, that was kind of weird. It's about time he mans up. Right, buddy? Stop that. I don't want him to become like you. He deserves to be happy. And he will treat other people with some respect. You're the last person to talk about respect. Just look at yourself. What goes around? I'm tired of your bullshit. You're the meanest person I know. I'm serious. Go be with someone else. Like you? What's that supposed to mean? Oh please, I know what you've been up to. I've known for quite some time now. So don't bother explaining yourself. I know about her. What are you talking about? You're not stupid. I know exactly what you've been up to. You know nothing. You're just trying to blame me for something. So that you can have a nice excuse for yourself. You know what? I don't care one bit who you go screwing around. It's your business and I don't want to have nothing to do with it. She means nothing to me. You know what? I actually believe you. Because you don't care about anyone else but yourself. You fucked this up. This whole side hustle of yours is just a cherry on top of our miserable lives. I'm not going to take this anymore. Never thought I was going to say this, but we both deserve better. Both? What? Are you happy? Eh, most of the time. Are you serious? Of course I am. Everything can be fixed. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Just listen to yourself. You can't be serious. You can't leave me. Of course I can. And I will. I can't live like this. None of us can. You must see it. What are you gonna do? Pack my bags and leave. I'll figure out the rest later. He's gonna be coming with me. But, I'm not going to argue about this with you. Just try and stop me. Daisy is the best cow I know. He's so kind. Dad? Yes? Why do you hate Mum? I don't hate her. It's just... Difficult. Grown up stuff. I guess you're enough to handle these things. Your mum and I are splitting up. Probably going to move with her. So you better start packing those bags for yours. This is going to go to go as well. With us? No. Do this. Do you really need to tell a kid this? Going to make sausage out of her. 
call. What a fucking achievement. <laughs> Says beef baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, let's just continue on from that. Ow, my ears. This is very loud. Back off. No, I don't want to back off. I'm going to square you up. Let me through. Okay, I guess not. Hey, they can't in line. Oh, I guess I need to wait in line. Okay, listen up. Not your perseverance at all, but let's face it, you're not a chick, and I've never seen you before, so you don't score extra points. Make sure you think I'm going to let you pass. Give me the silent treatment. Still nothing. Look, this is a classy establishment. I don't want any trouble. I swear you behave. Yep. Drag your ass inside. And don't make me regret it. What the hell? How come you get a pass? Yeah. Shut up. He needs to be here. Okay, well thank you. Okay, well, uh, pretty intense. I'll be with you in a minute. Where's my beer? I'm coming. Hold your horses. This is definitely weird. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you mean to... Hello there. I didn't expect to see you. What? You don't recognize me? I'm shocked. I'm sure you'd remember. After all, going to you was the most meaningful event that's ever happened to me. A genuine life-changing experience. You know what? Fuck you and the stupid nightclub. I'm going home. She asked me to give you this piece of paper to you. Now my work is done. Okay, thank you. Okay, we got a bit more of the ticket. Okay, I, I was going to talk to you. We got halfway home. Weird. I think I've said that before. I think I'm going to throw up. You just don't do it over on me. <laughs> that bouncer is a real asshole. I had to pay him to get inside. I love this place. Yeah, sure you do, bud. Wait your turn just like everyone else. Okay, well, guess we're gonna just wait. I'll wait, we will talk to other people. What do you want? Sheesh. Where did these creeps come from? Same thing every time. You're still here. Go get me a drink. Bring me one too. Okay, I guess we're... We're doing drinks, I guess? Okay, I've got all some drinks. So you're talking with the two ladies back there. My spider sense is tingling. They want drinks? Yep. They've been at it for hours. Not the first one. Don't get me wrong. More than happy more than happy to take your money. But I suggest you use it for something else. Still buying? Sure, why the fuck not? Very well. I'll make the usual for those harpies. Want me to spit in the glasses? I'm just kidding, but be careful. I have a nasty feeling about this. But I've been wrong before. Yeah, but I have a feeling that you're probably going to be right. These are on the house. I hope you get lucky. Okay, well, let's do this, I guess. Well, you brought us the right stuff. Okay, uh, want to sit with us? Uh, yeah, sure. Great. Now when I look at him, 
looks kind of hot. Or well, what do you think? Uh, yeah, he does. My kind of guy. He don't talk much. Maybe he's more of a strong. I could use some of that for a change. All I could, all I do is talk with him. It's just sad to see you this way. What? Why? Miserable? But I'm not miserable. Oi. I guess things could be better. That's one way to put it. Being miserable. What do you have me do? Seems to me you know all the answers. Look, no one can say what you want. You need to figure it out yourself. But you shouldn't just settle for something. You deserve good things too. There's nothing wrong in having some fun. Hey mister, what would you do? Accept the current state of things? Or risk everything with something awesome? Just ignore my friend. I'm serious. What would you choose then? Um... I mean neither of these are good but let's go with settle. I would settle. Things are reasonably good. I risk it for something that's not certain. That's the whole point. You never know even what you'll find. You keep your eyes shut. That's stupid. How come? No guarantee. Of course there isn't. That's why it's called risk. This is getting way too deep. What should we do with him? Are we going to go with him or me? Okay. Yep, well we're gonna leave them be and leave this place. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we're away from that very loud area. Straight from our studios. The game show you've been all waiting for. Here's our host. Some dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Warm well, welcome to everyone. Today we have a new contestant. Let's go it up to... Random guy! <laughs> Yay! As you all know, there's something and sign behind every door. So, let's give a hand to our wonderful contestant. Cheers. Yeah, also knows uh, how you ruined your life. Uh, let's start from the beginning, I guess. Interesting choice. Are you sure this is the one? Sure as I'll be, I guess. Very well. Let's see what we be find behind the door. The audience ready? I know I am. Let's see how you ruined your life. Let's see. What? You know damn well what? No. I'm not going to ask again. But I didn't know what you were asking. Don't be stupid. Of course you know. There's something you want to tell me. No. Don't lie to me. You're just like your father. Now. Where were we? Had enough of your lies. Now it's time to tell me everything you know. About what? You know exactly what I mean. What's she doing with your father? Dad was naked with her. On top of her? Yes. You sure that's what you saw? Yes. What happened next? They said something about coming. And Dad saw me. The woman left. What did he tell you? He said that promises can't be broken. And then he made me promise I won't tell anyone what I saw. What did you do? I promised him I won't talk about it. 
Now I've broken my promise. Will you be bad at me? Don't worry about that. You've done nothing wrong. You said bad things will happen. He's right. Bad things will happen. Maybe you should clarify that bad things will happen to him. But yeah. Bad things are probably gonna ha happen to him anyway. Do you know why I'm angry? No. I've done nothing wrong. You think so? I have to make sure you won't talk about this to anyone. I can't trust you. Broke your promise. Though it was a good thing you told me. I can assure you'll be stay silent. I'm not going to say anything. I promise. You promised that to your dad. You promised something. You have to keep it. Didn't you want to know? Of course. That's not the point. What good is a promise? You have to mean what you say. Yeah, well this is very depressing. Okay, well anyway, continuing on. Oh, and a uh, court place. Can't believe this. Let's get this over with. Looks like you're next. Thank you for coming. We have a lot to go through. Are you ready to start? Let's just get this over with. Very well. How about you? Are you good to go? Ah, uh, yes. I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. Likewise. Let's get started. So, have a few things to go through. After that, you sign the papers. And we're done. We're good? Yes. Have, have you come to terms on how we're going to split the assets? Uh, yes. Explain them 50 50 is fair. For you. Think of Hun? I'm the one who's been working, not you. After you studied, you stayed home for years. Should, why should you get some the same amount as me? You did nothing to earn that. 50 50 split is how these things usually go. But since you don't have a prenup, I recommend you settle for this. You can challenge my view in court, but it will cost you. Could you consider my proposal? Uh, sure. Happy with it. More than happy to see you in court, but I think you don't want that. Where's that fucking piece of paper? I'll sign it. But then we're done. Oh yes, we're definitely done. Yeah, but unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, okay, nope, we can't go that way. Okay, in the our blinding elevator, do we go? Oh, we're back at the uh, train station again. All aboard! Oh, we don't have to go through you this time. Well, back on the train we go. Ow, oh, I almost forgot how loud this music was. Well, well, what's up? Thought you liked that bridge I made for you? Lazy piece of shit. Seems they need firewood where we're heading. A lot of firewood. Be seeing ya. Okay, bye. At least you finally got your job done. How nice of you to come by. Okay, I think we read this one last time we came through. 
but uh, that was when my game crashed. Okay, well that went all over and done with. Okay, well, bye bye. Okay, back onto this one. This is so hard. Come on. Okay, is this one going to be the same or is it going to be different? What is it? Disease. Cancer. It can't be cured? Nope. Not at this stage. Holy fucking shit. What now? I don't know. I guess I should get my shit sorted out. God, so much baggage. First we'll see who's the boss in this game. New side, it's my turn. Okay, the ending was a little bit different, but everything else leading up to it was the same, pretty much. Fuck games. Okay, we got this guy. Come on, give me a hand. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna fix the car again. So I don't know how much this one will be different. Okay, what's going on? Fine, have it your way. Getting gutted alive. Divorce. Dad warned me. But I didn't listen. That's heavy. Can't we just fix this piece of shit? Not the beautiful motivation bullshit. Okay, yeah, and then there's all the same with this. Yeah, I just ended up picking a different option, so. Okay, there we go. Now, we definitely didn't get this fake news last time. Okay, again. Okay, there we go. Good evening. Today's headlines. Local schoolboy found a lightsaber. <laughs> which proved to be something else entirely. Teachers don't encourage kids to bring sex toys to school. <laughs> uh, god damn it. <laughs> oh god, that is fucking hilarious. Okay, I know we're gonna meet you again. Happy trails. Wanna go to the bitter end? Get yourself a ticket. Huh. We need to get a ticket to do it. Yeah. Okay, well, uh. There we go. Okay, and we're back here again. Can we actually leave this time, or do we need to go through all the same shit again? We meet again. Trust this round was a bit different than the previous one? Yeah, it was, actually. Wonderful. Finally beginning to understand the function of this place. You see, there's always more than one side to a story. I'm sure you've noticed that none of us are perfect. But flaws make us who we are. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. There's certain darkness in every one of us. Even the wires of roses cast a black shadow. But enough with this fortune cookie philosophy. Reminds me that I need to read more of who that is. I'm afraid you're still a bit short on the ashes. God damn it. One more round. We're almost there. God damn it. Can I pretty please just go on ahead? All in good time. Uh, gotta go through. <coughs> gotta go through with this again. Oh, wish me luck. Good morning. Not only forgives, it forgets. Oh, I can't even talk to him this time. Interesting. So I guess I'm completely done with his side of the story, I guess. Just need to find out what else I need to do. Yeah, I'm done with her as well. Completely done with him. Yep, yeah, done with them. Huh, okay, this is very interesting. Oh, I'm not even talking to that guy. Usually it pops up. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm apparently done with her, but we got the smoking man up here. Yikes. Go stop doing that. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Think cool? Nice to hear. Do you have any regrets? I know I do. Okay, yeah, I think we already read all this. Okay, here we go. We might be getting something different here. Still can't believe it. What kind of difference thinks that dildo is a lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, a kid? Tell me about it. Everybody knows a dildo, what a dildo looks like. Are you there with him? Who told you that? He mentioned it on recess. He did? Hey. Moron. What the hell are you trying to drag me down? Brought that dildo to school all by yourself. You gotta keep your mouth shut. You know what's good for you. You bring this up again? I'm gonna beat your ass. Just like your mo mother does. Still can't believe it. Okay, so, um, why are you repeating it? Yeah, of course I wasn't there. I know what a dildo is. What a style of stuff is for pussies anyway. Tell us a different story. Hey, moron. Why are you trying to drag me down? Brought that dildo to school by yourself. Okay, uh, just skip through all that. Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to my very own Salik pit. Just right around the corner in the restrooms. You got that? Huh? What a loser. Yeah, well, loser. <coughs> <coughs> Just my best friend. Took years to get back where we left off. So fucking ashamed of myself. Okay, well, done with you. Okay, I want to see what happens if we go up top this time. See if there's anything different. It's been a while since we've been up this way. Oh crap. Call me red handed. Seems like that old that old habits die hard. Imagine you can understand that. But anyways, have fun. Okay, we'll do. Okay, let's see what else we can get through this area. Okay, we can actually talk to this guy. Don't just stand there. Give me a hand. Almost done. Take your time. We're not in a hurry. What do you think? There's still so much to do. Yep. Sometimes I wonder if this will ever be completed. You are almost there. Just like you said. I guess you're right. Just so fed up with this. Married to you. Not this collection of timber and plywood. Maybe timber wood doesn't complain as much as you. Stop it. How about me complaining? How are you doing? Ah, uh, the usual. Yes. What do you want to know? Took care of the cows, went to the supermarket, made you food, and came here. That's about it. Nothing special. <clears throat> uh, anyways, you want to talk about something? Yeah, uh, sure. 
something specific on your mind? Well, just try to stir up some conversation. I'm sorry. You know how hard this is for me. No problem. Done for the day. Let's get going. Okay, it wasn't much different. <clears throat> Oh, that's not... Uh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, that's not going to come down for me this time. Okay, well, then we go. Going to get anything different? Not really. Oh, what took you so long? I was worried. Come, sit with me. Isn't this wonderful? Yes. Very own place. Just look how nice everything is. Yep. Couldn't be better. You think so? Absolutely. What are you thinking right now? Right now? Let me think. Nothing. Really? It's unfair how you can clear your head like that. Wish I could do the same. What do you mean? I'm always thinking of something. And? Just strange that you're not. What's so strange about that? And nothing. We're just different. Is that a bad thing? No. But sometimes it's hard to talk with you. About what? Everything. You always agree. But never share your thoughts. What's that supposed to mean? Why won't you talk to me? What do you mean? Of course I'll talk to you. Not that way. I can have a superficial chit chat with anyone. I want more from you. It's going to be one long and boring ride. We're going to talk about weather for the next 50 years. Okay, we've got survival of the fittest hospice and school of life. I'm sure this is going to be interesting. Look who finally decided to show up. Grab a seat. Okay, um, <laughs> I game through so a minute, I thought it was gonna crash again. This is so boring. I'm gonna fall asleep any minute. How can you stand this? It's not that bad. What? She's the worst possible teacher there is. Be quiet back there. I'm not going to tell you again. Jeez. What a hard ass. What's her problem? Aren't all teachers like this? Thank God, no. Like most of them. She's the only exception. I'm not going to say that this again. Shut your mouths and pay attention. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. See? Total twat. You're new here? Yep. Where are you from? Came from the countryside. Oh, parents got jobs here? Nope, just dad. I'm sorry, didn't mean to pry. Nah, don't worry about it. That's it. I've had it with you two. Two hours of detention. One hour more for every peep I hear. You got that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. Cheating is so much fun. Let's carry on. We're screwed. I'm gonna get murdered at home. Look. We were friends. But now we are partners in crime. Pretty cool. Let's give that teacher a run for her money. What? 
Hey, what? You heard me. We're off. So fuck you and your stupid lesson. Say something. Bitch. <laughs> You really need to work on your inner sorting skills. Uh, there's always those types of kids in a classroom. Wouldn't be school without the class clowns. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get with this one. Need to have a serious conversation. It looks nice. I know. Look, don't want to be an asshole, but we need to talk. Why now? We're over on the perfect moment. This can't wait. I suppose it can't. We need to be responsible. Not just about us anymore. I know, but do you have any idea what you're asking? We need the money. <coughs> I'd rather rob a bank. Don't say that. I mean what? I mean what I say. Please don't make me do this. You don't get to choose, I'm afraid. Fine. Beggars can't be choosers. Hey, um... Come on. I want this to be over already. Check it out in here. Okay, we're going on a car ride. Oh, not quite. Ah, Prodigal Sun returns. Jeez. Are you sure about this? We don't have a choice. Go on, you two. This is a glorious day. Trip went well, I suppose. It was long. Better get used to the distances. Anyways, always knew this day would come. Day when you come to your senses. Just hope it would have happened a few years ago. Things would have been a lot easier. Cat got your tongue. No more. Lear and Max. Are you going to listen to this? We don't have to be here. Oh. I thought that was your last chance. My plumbing is a bitch. Trust me. I know. This is the only option you got left. Am I right? Come on, Dad. No. You had this coming for a long time. Don't talk to him like that. You keep your mouth shut. This is between me and him. I'm nothing but a spectator. Take that pen and put your initials here. Fuck's sake. And we're slowly sliding down the hill after that conversation. Like we won out. What the hell is this? Gum motel thing? Okay, so this is definitely different. It's the last time we're going to reserve us a hotel. Look at this mess. And how disgusting it is inside. Look, lady, we're full. There's nothing I can do about it. Unfucking believable. How is it possible that this kind of death trap is fully booked? Could you kindly explain? First of all, it's a quality motel. Yeah, a quality motel. It's not my fault that you didn't have a reservation. That's a load of horse shit. How stupid do you think we are? Of course we have a reservation, right? Right? Well,
Don't tell me you fucked up. Okay, I won't tell you. But that's kind of what happened. God damn it. I'm sorry, I forgot. How could you forget? I didn't do this on purpose. Of course you didn't. This is the only thing you had to take care of. The only fucking thing. I took care of all the arrangements. You didn't have to lift a finger. You lazy bastard. Let's just go back home. Had enough of vacations. Um, okay, I went to try and go back and uh, that popped up. And we'll leave you be for now. Okay, let's try checking the directions this time. Can you check the directions? Why? Know exactly where we're going. Just humor me. Fine. It makes you happy. Well... What? Looks like we should have taken left instead of the right. When? Right from the get-go. You're kidding. I'm afraid not. For Pete's sake. Let's turn around. You can still get there before sunset. You sure you're up for it? Eh, yes. Might as well keep going. Sure thing. Look, I'm sorry. Should check the directions. Damn right you should have. This is not the end of the world. You got nothing but time. Got that right. Second started right and straight on till morning. Onwards. Okay, yeah, we got a different outcome this time. We didn't waste like it nearly an entire day. Okay, so we can maybe get a different outcome with this one now. Okay, we're almost done. What do you mean? Just unpack these things. Now I can rest. Look, we're still miles from the finish line. Yeah, you can definitely say that again. <laughs> What's wrong? Just tired. That's all. Still a lot to do. These boxes went and packed themselves. Oh, God, I forgot about that. <laughs> that happened. God. It scared me a second time. God damn it. Okay, all aboard. Okay, let's get this over and done with again. Okay, so yeah, the first two were pretty much exactly the same, but... Ooh. Okay, this one and the next one are different. Okay. How about that? Special is beautiful. Take a look. <coughs> wow, that is really pretty. This is so beautiful. Yeah, sure is. Yeah, thanks for bringing me here. It's one of my favorite places. I used to come here a lot when I was a child. There's a pond, little pond just around the corner. Why was this place special? That pond over there? We used to feed ducks there when I was a kid. Probably my best childhood memories. We should talk about this. Why bother? Can't do anything about it. Talking might help. How? This can't change what happened. That's definitely true. <laughs> Why won't you talk to me? You didn't disappear though. Okay, uh, there we got the priest guy. Hello there. You and I need to have a chat. What's going on? I've known you for ages. I can see you're not well. I guess you're right. What is it? You know you can talk to me. Looks like I'm getting a divorce. Wow, that's some heavy shit. 
What are you gonna do? Well, I get my stuff. Then go somewhere. Look, come to my place. Tell me to figure out your next move. Nah, I'll manage. Where are you gonna go? I'll figure something out. Don't be an idiot. There's a spare room that you can use. Thanks. Are you sure that it's okay? Of course I am. You're a good friend. Look, you have to promise me something, okay? Sure. Ah, uh, be honest with me. I don't want to know what you're doing. I'm not going to fix cars for your friends again. Of course. Look. I know I've been an asshole, but I appreciate this. I really do. I'm sorry about all the trouble I've caused you over the years. What are you, the bridge? Bounce back on your feet. In the meantime, we're gonna have fun. Really good friend. Okay, what's the fake news gonna be about this time? It's gonna be about the dildo again? Good evening. Learning mistakes on others can have very negative effects. Take a responsibility for your own actions is something worth trying. For well, many people. That is definitely true. Okay, can we pass or we're still not good enough? Happy trails. Want to go to the bitter end? Get yourself a ticket. Yep, we still don't have the ticket. Okay, I'm guessing we still can't pass because. <sighs> okay, I'm guessing there's still a lot of stuff we haven't seen yet. Oh wait, the deed is done. The urn is full. Yes, finally! We can pass to the exit! But it's not half empty either. You can go forward. But again, it's up to you. Are you ready to leave this place? Yes, we've been ready for ages. Very well. You'd be so kind and follow me? <sighs> finally, we can find out what's beyond this exit. Okay, uh, didn't realize I could actually move. Took everything I had. Look where it got you. Sorry how I treated you. You didn't deserve any of it. Let me learn to read you. But I guess that was part of your charm. It is time. Come. What's the purpose of this? Must there be a purpose? Does life have a purpose? We just exist. And it's enough. I have regrets. Who doesn't? No matter what you choose, something can end up Sometimes you end up hurting someone. Others make similar choices. It's who you end up, and it's who you end, who ends up hurt. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> that's a sentence. Am I a bad person? No one is bad to the core. We make choices based on our experience. Our experiences are crossed by other people. In the end. I was mistreated. Indeed you were, but you passed it along. These things have very long roots. It doesn't start with you, and unfortunately it won't end either. Is this the end? Yes, this is where it all ends. Now that you come to terms with everything, you can finally rest. The purpose of this place is letting go. Everything is a circle. Unless we understand this, we can't break it. You see the choices you made repeated. Though something is always different. 
Big picture remains the same. We inherit the baggage we carry, and in this case, the contents of the urn. Pass this baggage along. Follows to carry. The only way to lose this baggage is to let go. Once you scatter the ashes, you're free. You can always return. Try to prove me otherwise. The choice is yours. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. There's no use holding on to the past. What happened happened and what we can do is try our best and move forward and make the best of things. Well, that was the end. God, this was definitely a very hard hitting game. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of shit to take in. But yeah, unfortunately there are bad things out in the world. Unfortunately, some people don't get uh, good parents or good partnerships or just anything good in general. But that's unfortunately life. Unfortunately, nobody's perfect, or nobody's life is perfect. There's always something bad that happens. <laughs> Just gotta fortunately learn from it and try to be a better person and just try to move on with life. And that can be a lot harder than said than done, but yeah, that's fortunately life. But yeah, there's definitely, uh, Gave a lot of thoughts <laughs> and a lot of depressing shit, but it was still a good game overall. But I know there's still a lot that I missed because, um, I know, I'll have to check because I think I still got uh, quite a few achievements. Yeah, like I only got 39 achievements and there's a hundred of them, <laughs> so there's definitely a lot that I missed. So, if you guys want to check this game out for yourself? I will be leaving the link down in the description because, um, yeah, you guys can check it out for yourselves and see what different things you can get. And maybe you can make his life maybe a little bit more better than I made it out to be. Anyway, hope you guys make your lives a little bit better from learning from this and yeah, we'll be moving on to the next game.